Hey guys, half with it here with another Bacchus mod video. The last one was almost half a year ago, so a lot has changed since then and I wanted to update you guys on a couple of the new things that have come out since. So why am I not in game? I'm currently on a website and this new website is uh, one of the interesting things because uh, we always had these problems with the plugin that the installation wasn't that easy and they, it was difficult to find the plugins. So simple AOB decided he would make a website and this website is for Bacchus mod plugins. And this in combination with what Bacchus did for the mod actually makes it really easy to get mods uh, plugins now. So what you, all you have to do is, well, you can already see some plugins here, but you can go on browse plugins and then you will have the full list of the plugins that are currently available, available on this site. And one of the great things that has happened in the past half year is that there have been a lot of developers that have started developing some plugins uh, like the GDEC plugin to track stats and there's even a different plugin here and some plugins to help with training, some plugins just for quality of life, like leaving the game instantly and going into free play. And yeah, there are really a ton of great plugins and you should really check them out, all of them. There are actually two pages already here, so there are even more um, plugins to choose from. And I wanted to show just how easy it is to install a plugin here. So I'm just gonna go on the Hitbox plugin, which we already talked about in the previous video. And really all I have to do right here is click on install with plugin manager in the top right. And then it's gonna ask me if I should open this with plugin installer.exe. And I can choose to always open these type of files with the associated app. And then I do this and it opens this window. It's gonna try and install it. It's currently not technically possible because Rocket is not running, but in practice it will actually save this so next time we open up Bacchus mod, it will actually automatically have installed this. This is all you have to do and next time you open Rocket League, the Hitbox plugin will be installed and if you already had Rocket League open, the Hitbox plugin will also be installed. That's really the super easy way to do this and as long as the plugin itself is easy to use, there's really no, no barrier now to get these plugins. One of the important things I wanted to talk about on this website is that you will see this shield next to the names. And you can see that here is an alert next to rocket stats because we wanted to make sure that there is a secure way to download these uh, plugins. The problem is that a plugin could potentially contain malware. And in order to make sure that it doesn't have malware in there, we first of all, well, simple, made it so that the server runs a malware test. So anything that gets on the site is has passed through a malware test but a malware test is obviously not uh, infallible. So what we actually do for the ones with the shield is that we actually manually screen them and make sure there's no malware in there and they are compiled by us. So if you see a shield, then you know it's only either uh, compiled by simple Bacchus or me. And uh, that should be a very secure way for everyone to download this. Uh, this doesn't mean the alert doesn't mean that this does contain a virus or something. It probably won't but it just means that this was provided by um, whoever made this plugin and we didn't check it manually. So other than that, there are the sort features so you can find the plugins that you want. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to show about the site. And I'm gonna hop into the game now to show you what's new there. So here we are in game and the first thing I want to show you is the counterpart to the website in the mod and in the uh, Bacchus mod settings that you can open with F2. Under plugins, there's the plugin manager, which you can open. And in this plugin manager, you will see all the plugins that you have installed, which might be a lot more than you expect there to be, because there are a bunch of default plugins as we've already gone over in the previous episodes. But as you can see, the um, hitbox plugin should be available here now and we can find it right here, hitbox plugin. And you can turn off and on plugins right here, just clicking in here. And you don't even need to uninstall plugins, even if you don't use them, you can just click them off here. That's uh, very useful. Other than that, if you have a plugin that wasn't actually on the website, you can even install from zip here and you have a file browser 
and you can navigate to the zip file of the plugin and it can be installed in the same way. The ID right here you can also um, install by that. If I go back to the website, you will see that at the top right here, the Hitbox plugin has the ID 19. And if you would just enter this number in the mod right here, then you could click install by ID and then it would also get installed. You also have a console command for this. So if you close that window and press F6, you can also do BPM install and then just type the number in there. And that might be useful if you're trying to get some like a configuration file to your friend with a bunch of settings and they need to download a plugin too, then you could put that in there. Then we have some interesting new miscellaneous features. So first of all, uh, this looks a bit different right now. I don't know why, uh, which way it looks for you, but there is the theme under the miscellaneous tab. And this is the default theme, a theme which was the old one. And there's one called Overcast, which was made by Brank, I believe. So uh, I like that one personally, so I use that. You can also uh, uh, personally create your own themes uh, via the JSON files. And there's a long guide by Brank which I'm gonna try and put in the video description in case you wanna make your very own theme. So one small but really cool feature that was added since the last video is notifications. So all you have to do is enable them. They are disabled by default right now. And there were some issues. I personally have run with them for months now with not, without a single issue. I would just recommend you to turn them on and then you can still turn them off if you run into any issues. So one of the things where you can get notifications is for ranked, for example. So there is show MMR notification at the end of the match uh, option. And when you turn that on, you get a notification how the MMR changed. And I can actually demonstrate this. I'm gonna go into the console and type toast me, which is just a test. And then you can see right at the top right corner, all these notifications pop up. And this was pretty short because there were a bunch of them at the same time. But you can see at the bottom right here, um, this would show you the new MMR that you have. So one specific plugin that makes use of this is the auto replay uploader. It's gonna show you a notification when you successfully upload a replay to a website. So that's also kind of nice. In theory, any plugin can make use of this. So maybe there are some plugins in the future that are gonna have some interesting stuff there, I would just recommend to turn on the notifications unless you run into any issues. So in order to make the MMR notifications work, you also might have to turn on the show a play MMR on scoreboard setting. You can turn on the other setting only show MMR after the game is over if you don't want to see it during the match. But I believe this is necessary for the game to even uh, cache the player's MMR. So there are a couple more small features here and there. In the items tab, you will see that paint finishes uh, are now available and they finally work after a couple of people have bugged us forever about it. And in the custom training tab, there is a different option now other than use free play map for custom training, you can actually use random map for custom training. Uh, the good thing about this is it's not just completely random, you can actually change it so you don't get, for example, a map that you don't like, um, like, what is it called? I forgot about it, Salty Shores, of course. Everyone hates that map. So in order to not get that, you will have to edit some files. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm gonna open the Bacchus Mod Injector, open the Bacchus Mod folder, and then right here under data, there is a file randommaps.cfg. And this map you can open with any text editor, for example, Notepad, or if you have something better, you can use that. And you will see the file name, which you shouldn't change, that's the official, official name. Then next to it, it uh, there will be the name of the map, and this should be localized as long as you have used the feature once. So if you have a different language client, it will even show the net, net, map, map name in your language. And then right next to it is there's a number and this number will tell you the percentage of, well, not the percentage, this will show you a weight with which these maps can show up. These weights are actually the standard weights that the game uses, but I've uh, removed all the non-standard maps as well as some of the uh, Christmas themed maps, for example. 
And I think I've already taken out Salty Shores too, right here. Even though the Night Salty Shores uh, must be either somewhere else or I can't see it right now. Um, anyway, whenever a new map comes out, it should automatically be added to this list once you use the feature. And yeah, then you can change the weight afterwards if you don't want the weight that the game uses by default. And on this note, I should mention that any feature that in the future wants to use a random map somewhere, for example, there's the instant training plugin that can already load a random map too. Uh, they can also use that list basically that this feature uses. So once you configure that one file, it would be good for any random map feature in the entire mod. A feature that was added quite a while back, but I haven't covered yet, is the goal blocker. This makes custom training even better. You can just enable it and set the mask where you want the ball to go through and where you want the ball to be blocked. And then you go into custom training and you can train any area of the net that you want to train. So that's about all the new features I wanted to talk about in this video. However, I wanted to know your opinion. What would you guys like to see next? I could do some stuff on scripting, maybe some binds that I've set up for myself, which I found useful. And uh, we could also talk about specific settings in here. Although I don't really like to go over every single one of these settings because usually the text next to it explains it. And if it doesn't, you can just try it out yourself and you will figure it out within seconds. Another interesting idea I had was just showcasing plugins. So I would go through the list of on the website and pick out some interesting ones and try to go through them and well talk about everything they can do and what you can use them for. I hope this video was helpful and I really hope that more people start using the website and download all these great plugins that have been created for the mod. And there are probably more to come in the future. It's really an exciting time. If you want to stay up to date about the channel and Rocket League updates, then follow me on Twitter or join my Discord and I'll see you soon for the next video.